Picture this, a flickering black and white screen, the kind that emits a gentle, nostalgic hum in the background. It's a time portal, a glimpse into an era where fedoras were fashion statements and car chases were as thrilling as they were daring. The year was 1955, and a little gem of a TV series called Highway Patrol burst onto the scene, igniting the imaginations of viewers across the nation. As the dial turned and the show began, there was an air of anticipation in the room. It was a time before streaming, before binge-watching, a time when each episode was a cherished event. The characters and their stories were a familiar thread woven into the fabric of people's lives. And so, the journey with the fearless men and women of the Highway Patrol commenced, their tales of heroism and heart-pounding pursuits captivating hearts and minds. Do you recall your first encounter with Highway Patrol? Perhaps it was the squeal of tires as a high-speed chase unfolded, leaving you on the edge of your seat. Or maybe it was the reassuring presence of the patrol officers, their unwavering dedication resonating with you even through the screen. In a world where every episode was a snapshot of the pursuit of justice, there were undoubtedly moments that etched themselves into your memory. And now, as we navigate the annals of this iconic show, let's uncover some lesser-known facts that add new layers to the nostalgia. Did you know that the show was inspired by actual California Highway Patrol procedures? The authenticity that seeped into each frame was a testament to the dedication of the creators. So buckle up as we delve into intriguing tidbits that will rekindle your love for this classic The series. California Highway Patrol was more than just a source of real-world inspiration for the 1955 TV series Highway Patrol. It was a partner in the show's early success. During the first two seasons, the CHP lent their actual squad cars to the production company. These cars sported generic Highway Patrol logos masking the genuine CHP emblems, maintaining an air of authenticity on screen. The 1955 Buick Century two-door sedans featured on the show were custom-built for the CHP, not available for public purchase. This choice was fitting, as the actual CHP's main duties then revolved around accident investigations, enforcement, and auto thefts, rather than arrests. Notably, the CHP only gained major police powers in 1964. To maintain accuracy, the show replicated the CHP's khaki uniforms, complete with the state seal and Eureka slogan, only omitting the word California. The attention to detail extended to character Dan Matthews' call sign, 21 minus 50, which matched the unit number of CHP Commissioner Bernard Caldwell at the time. However, the partnership wasn't without its bumps. By mid-1956, differences in storylines and presentation led the CHP to withdraw its support, cutting off the supply of squad cars. The production team had to scramble, using an incorrect Buick Super 4-door hardtop for the remainder of the season. Although authentic squad car replicas were secured for the 1957 season, the cars used in the 1958 season deviated from reality. Interestingly, the trailer hitches observed on the squad cars wear it for show. They were used to tow the film company's equipment trailers to various shooting locations. Additionally, the show's writers opted to describe suspect vehicles by color and type rather than using brand names, preserving a level of ambiguity. As the opening credits rolled, viewers were greeted with a 1954 Lincoln Capri convertible approaching the checkpoint. While the two highway patrol cars stationed there were 1955 Buicks, serving as a subtle nod to the era's automotive charm. In the ever-evolving world of television, Highway Patrol showcased a unique partnership between fiction and reality, weaving the California Highway Patrol's authenticity into its narrative fabric. The clash of creative vision and law enforcement pragmatism added an intriguing layer to the show's legacy, reminding us that even in the realm of entertainment, real-world connections shape the stories we love. California Highway Patrol's uncredited role in shaping Highway Patrol TV series in the golden age of television, one show stood out for its gripping portrayal of law enforcement on the open road, Highway Patrol. While the series captured the attention of audiences in 1955, it was the silent partnership with the real California Highway Patrol that lent an air of authenticity to the show's depiction of highway law enforcement. Contrary to typical on-screen credits, the CHP's involvement in Highway Patrol 
was a backstage collaboration, rarely acknowledged by the show's creators. However, behind the scenes, the California Highway Patrol played an instrumental role, extending technical advice that bolstered the show's realism. Notably, the CHP went beyond words by providing the patrol vehicles used throughout the first season, ensuring accuracy down to the smallest detail, even uniforms. One can't overlook the commanding presence of Broderick Crawford, the show's lead actor, whose portrayal of Chief Dan Matthews became iconic. Crawford's charismatic performance was bolstered by his earnest commitment to road safety. At the conclusion of each episode, Crawford would deliver a succinct yet powerful safety announcement, imploring viewers with his memorable line, Leave your blood at the Red Cross, not on the highway. These post-episode reminders remain etched in the collective memory of a generation. The charismatic Chief Matthews wasn't just known for his safety admonitions. His signature sign-off over the radio waves became a catchphrase. Matthews would conclude transmissions with the call sign 21 minus 50 by showcasing the show's attention to detail and replicating authentic police communications. The Chief's rapid U-turns in response to incidents were not mere dramatic flair. They mirrored the real-world agility demanded of highway patrol officers. Interestingly, a more personal connection to the show's legacy can be traced to Broderick Crawford's own family. His son had once possessed the original patrol car used in the series, a remarkable piece of television history. Yet, the current whereabouts of this artifact remain a mystery, leaving enthusiasts to wonder about its fate. Highway Patrol wasn't just a TV series, it was a glimpse into the world of law enforcement on the road. The California Highway Patrol's unsung contribution and Chief Matthews' iconic catchphrases created a blend of realism and drama that resonated with audiences. As the show continues to live on through the annals of television history, its ties to real police work serve as a testament to the collaborative spirit between fiction and reality. This is the untold story of how the California Highway Patrol wove authenticity into the fabric of Highway Patrol, reminding us that sometimes the most powerful contributions are those that remain hidden in plain sight. Unveiling hidden geographical clues in 1955 Seconds Highway Patrol series in the realm of classic television. The 1955 TV series Highway Patrol has long been celebrated for its gripping narratives, an authentic portrayal of law enforcement. However, beneath its well-crafted surface lies a geographical mystery that has intrigued fans for decades. While the show's production was widely believed to center on the California Highway Patrol, a few subtle clues in episodes suggest an alternative location. In the riveting Season 2, Episode 12 titled Stolen Car Ring, a fleeting yet telling moment occurs. Matthews, a central character, casually reveals he's merely passing through California. Season 1, Episode 6, titled Hitchhiker, deepens the mystery as a robber from New York City speaks of the daunting distance to California. A breakthrough comes in Season 4, Episodes 20 and 28, where it's evident that the state in focus shares a border with Mexico. This revelation narrows the possibilities to Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. Yet, thorough research eliminates these contenders one by one. New Mexico's state police agency doesn't align with the show's theme while Arizona's all-white highway patrol cars deviate from the era's norms. Texas, although a feasible candidate, falls short as the depicted officers don mismatched headgear. These discrepancies shed light on the intricate details often overlooked by avid viewers. The narrative tapestry of highway patrol is not confined to a singular locale, but rather interwoven with intriguing cross-country illusions. Thus, a show believed to be in homage to California's Highway Guardians emerges as a cryptic enigma spanning the southwestern landscape. The evolution of the show's opening credits underscores this enthralling journey. Originally thanking Bernard R. Caldwell and CHP officer Frank S. Runyon for their invaluable technical insights, the credits morph over time. The California Highway Patrol's initial fervent support dwindles, transforming the acknowledgement into a broader tribute to highway patrols nationwide. 
In unraveling this geographical conundrum, Highway Patrol transcends its status as a mere crime drama, morphing into a captivating puzzle beckoning the curious to piece together its hidden nuances. As the show continues to resonate with audiences, the persistent question remains, was Highway Patrol set in California, or did it beckon us to embark on a multidimensional expedition through the heartland of America? The answer may be elusive, but the journey Highway is undeniably Highway Patrol, enthralling. the iconic 1955 TV series that revved up the screens, left an indelible mark on television history. The show's gritty portrayal of law enforcement's battle against reckless drivers captivated audiences, while also delivering intriguing trivia. One standout quote from the show encapsulates its intense ethos. The careless driver isn't driving his car. Who's aiming it? This sharp observation by the show's creators underlined the perilous stakes that law enforcement faced on the open road. But it wasn't just the show's content that made waves. Fast forward to a Chips episode in its inaugural season, titled Hustle, where Broderick Crawford, who played the authoritative Chief Dan Matthews, stepped into a meta moment. Crawford, pulled over for running a stop sign, cheekily quipped to Officer John Baker, played by Larry Wilcox. You know, I was making those highway patrol shows long before you were born. Baker's retort, yeah, they don't make television programs like that anymore, playfully bridged the generational gap, reminding viewers of a bygone era. Even the closed captions for the show added a unique layer of description. The theme music was dubbed Victorious Music, mirroring the triumphant spirit of the officers as they tackled each case. Highway Patrol wasn't just a series, it was a cultural touchstone. Its impactful quotes, meta moments, and even the subtle nuances in the closed captions continue to be a testament to its enduring legacy. So, the next time you buckle up for a drive, remember the words of Chief Dan Matthews, the driver isn't just driving, they are aiming. And that, as they say, is a fact. As we take our final turn down memory lane, the tire tracks of nostalgia lead us to the captivating world of the 1955 TV series, Highway Patrol. Just like the black and white landscapes that graced your screens, this show painted the canvas of your imagination with daring pursuits, unwavering determination, and the indomitable spirit of law enforcement. As you ponder upon the echoes of screeching tires and the crackling radio transmissions, you might find yourself reminiscing about the rush of adrenaline as Dan Matthews and his team raced against time to maintain the order on the roadways. Was it the suspense of the chase, the heartfelt camaraderie of the officers, or perhaps the authentic portrayal of a bygone era that left an imprint on your memory? Highway Patrol wasn't merely a show, it was an invitation to contemplate the virtues of justice, duty, and the pursuit of a better world. It invited you to explore the thin line between right and wrong, and to embrace the sacrifices that those in uniform make to keep us safe. What resonated most with you? Was it the dedication of the officers, the gripping narratives, or the vintage charm that transported you back in time? Your unique perspective is a piece of this collective experience, a connection that bridges decades and sparks conversations that transcend generations. So, whether you watched it during its initial broadcast or stumbled upon it in the modern era, your insights are the threads that weave the fabric of this series into our cultural tapestry. Share your thoughts, relive your favorite moments, and let your voice echo in the corridors of television history. Thank you for taking this journey through the archives of Highway Patrol, for allowing its essence to linger in your thoughts. Your time and interest in preserving these memories are truly appreciated. Stay curious, keep reminiscing, and let the spirit of Highway Patrol continue to drive your reflections.